If you can see black circles and dark, damp patches on your ceilings, walls, furniture or carpets, you've probably got mould in your home. Mould needs damp conditions to grow and spread. It is usually caused by condensation. When warm air comes into contact with a cold surface, it turns into droplets of water called condensation. Condensation is caused by producing too much moisture in your home, not having enough ventilation, the temperature in your home being too low. If condensation builds up on surfaces, mould can grow. To reduce condensation and stop mould growth, there are three steps you can take. Step 1. Reduce the amount of moisture you produce. Cooking. Don't boil kettles or pans for longer than you have to. Put lids onto saucepans. Close the kitchen door and open a window or use an extractor fan. Leave the window open or the extractor fan on for 15 minutes after you've finished cooking. Wipe away any condensation. Drying clothes. Hang clothes outside to dry or use a tumble dryer. If you dry clothes indoors, always leave a window open to ventilate the area and close internal doors. Having a bath or shower. Reduce steam by part filling your bath with cold water, then topping it up with hot water. Close the bathroom door and open a window. Or use an extractor fan. Leave the extractor fan running for 30 minutes after use. Step 2. Improve ventilation. Leave enough room for air to circulate. Don't push furniture right up against the wall. Don't block any air vents or air bricks in your property. Open a window or use an extractor fan when you're cooking or taking a bath. Open the interior doors of your home to allow dry air to circulate. Keep a window open in the rooms you're using. If your windows have trickle vents, check these are open. Remember, keep your home secure. When you open a window, make sure it doesn't cause security problems. Close any windows before you go out. Step 3. Keep your home well heated. Condensation is less likely to build up in a warm home. In cold weather, set your thermostat for low heat throughout the day, even if you're not at home. Don't use bottled gas or paraffin heaters. If you do get mould in your house, you can remove it and stop it coming back by wiping down or spraying mouldy walls and window frames using a fungicidal wash, shampooing any mouldy carpets, dry cleaning any clothes covered in mould. Once you've removed the mould, you should redecorate using fungicidal, mould-resistant paint or wallpaper paste containing a fungicide. This will stop the mould from coming back. To reduce condensation and stop mould growth, there are three steps you can take. Step 1. Reduce the amount of moisture you produce. Step 2. Improve ventilation. Step 3. Keep your home well heated. Don't give mould a chance to grow. Follow all three steps and keep your condensation low.